All right. Hey, family. Black Box Radio. We are coming to you guys talking about the community camp, the community crew. Okay. But first, we want to we want to talk that we we've, we've actually released Leslie Voss story, Act One, Act Two, Act Three, the first Maryland exoneree. You really should go check that out. That's on the website blackboxradio.com, and it's also on YouTube at right. our channel. Back, right. it's Black Box Radio, right? The channel. Yeah. So Black on YouTube, Box yeah. Space yeah, Radio. On- <laughs> on YouTube, yeah, you just have to search. Just remember the spelling. It's B-L-A-K. That's right. B-O-X-X. So if you go to YouTube and you type B-L-A-K, B-O-X-X-R-A-D-I-O, it'll, it'll pop right up. It's, it's you coming can, up. If you are subscribed, make sure you subscribe because once we get to 100 subscribers on there, then we can get like a custom link and it won't be this long, crazy thing. But we need to get to 100 subscribers. We got over 40 now. So if you listen to this, you go to YouTube, subscribe there so we can step our game up on the link. Yeah, step the game up, family. Come see us. So we ain't got to have all the whole alphabet behind YouTube <laughs> for you to find us. <laughs> I know. Subscribe for us. Subscribe. So the Leslie Bass story is there, which is amazing. It's three acts. It's long, but it's informative. It's a great look. So look at that. We just did our first forecast series with uh, Black women mm-hmm. um, inside, um, no, after covid after protests existing as Black Lives That Matter, just women. So this Thursday the 16th, we would be doing just men. That so will be check live. That out. Yeah, that will be. And this um, is, these are live, and we're going to do events on Facebook for that, so you can see it. But right. also, um, we will be posting them on the website as G gets them mixed down and clean them up and package them. Yep. So today, we want to do something funny because we've been really serious for the last week. We started a community crew. And you guys know that I am horrible when it comes to taping and <laughs> anything like that. It's going to be a mess. That's why G is so important. So he couldn't be with us that day. So you're going to see why. <laughs> because I did, I did the camera on my phone. It is very funny. It's very informative. Check it out. This is the community crew from Baltimore City. It's Antoine Qualls L from um, Hope. And that's helping oppressed people itself Mm -hmm. and then we also had Yolanda Pulley who was a former 2020 mayor candidate Mm -hmm. and we had the incomparable (laughs) the amazing Dwayne Shorty Davis Shorty Yo-Yo Twan and Queen from Black Box Radio we just sat there and talked about Baltimore we cut up a little we had it was pound cake radio we had some pound cake and some Pepsi Okay. So you know how black folks do sugar? All sugar. that sugar. So All that sugar. So you know we went in. They went in. I just taped them. It was amazing. But we're going to definitely build out from this. And um, they spoke about um, the prison industrial complex, how it's set up in Baltimore. So our next community crew will be every first Thursday of the month. So it'll be next um july, in, ju- in, in july yeah in july no in august let's talk let's i mean talk. august august yeah my bad yep. <laughs> yeah we got we in the july bro so next august so august is coming up the first thursday we're going to do another community crew i will keep you posted we're going to be outside again um doing the same thing but we're going to really delve into this how the prison industrial complex is um presented in baltimore city okay same yeah same thing that we've been doing same people we just gonna really talk about it. So I want you guys to check this out. We're in Carroll Park, <laughs> in the community, Pound Cake Radio, getting it in, acting bl- like black crazy folk. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Having a good time. So check us out. Community. Absolutely. Real quick, um, blackboxradio.com. Make sure you go and subscribe. That's B-L-A-K-B-O-X-X-R-A-D-I-O. Go there and subscribe so that you don't miss any of this great content. All, all day. We're not going to stand alone. We do a lot of talking. We just want to introduce the community crew. You guys enjoy. We'll talk to you real soon. Check us out next Thursday, um, 7 16 20, after COVID, after protests, existing as Black Lives That Matter, the Black Men version. Please check it out. Peace, deuces. We out. Well, we're not out. Enjoy the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right. (laughs) Thank you, G. Peace.
Yeah. But across Northern Parkway, where Mr. Yitzi and his his people live, that crisis spot. What they call it, Shorty? Shamrim. Shamrin is twenty. It's twenty four hours. And, and they got a car. They got a car, a truck from the city for a private community crisis team, right? And they got a Yukon. Yeah, they got. The, they have a Yukon. It's a Yukon. I seen it. I seen it. And it's new. I seen it. I can't even get a U. Wow. Oh, you get more U's than me. So, okay, so we know crisis response ain't changing no time soon, right? So you think um, the new mayor is going to put that in his budget? Uh, I'm going to put some things in the budget, but it ain't going to be the crisis response. <laughs> oh, we moving to that. I don't know. It might, it might be, but it might say 12 9. <laughs> I guarantee you this. He might do, he might do he four, might four to six. Right. He might do nice shit. The learner has probably got more crisis. <laughs> the, 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 the moralized. Then the crisis response team. The crisis response team have begun. And that's what they get for stealing off my platform and don't implement it. That's what they get. What they steal, sis? My uh, trauma team. I was going to be the first man to go in and, and own the trauma team. And they did not implement it right. It's not right at all. Well, in all actuality, the, the community crew says the crisis response team need to be the people. That's what I'm talking about. Because the people who respond and don't understand what the crisis is. Right. So if we have a, if, if he had a, if he had an accident for my plan, I might have gave it to him in order for it to work for both of them. Sure. So if you have a whole bunch of, let's say we have a, a big bus. Sure. Fully equipped with everything that you need for trauma mm -hmm. and even resources. Okay. And we have people on there that's PRPs and, and psychiatrists and, you know, have doctors on home. Sure, therapists. show up at people's houses when, they, when their loved ones are going through whatever crisis that they're going through. So let me ask you a question before you're done. Like, what happened to the young man that got shot by the police just two, two three days ago, am I right? I he was mentally, he was going through a mental breakdown, right? So would a crisis response team be something that makes sense in that type of movement? The then a call the police, who shot him? They, 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 was the, they was the ones. They're the ones. But guess what? It wasn't open. <laughs> it wasn't open. And that is why that young man's in the hospital fighting for his life. The crisis that the officer trauma effect mm. was in through his past experiences when he walked in and based upon you going through his situation what triggered him but in all actuality they are the ones who are trained you cannot negate your training because you're fearful don't get the job because you're trained that if someone's having a mental breakdown your first thought is not to shoot them Absolutely. it's to mitigate that situation right their first, their first thing is to shoot us. Because uh, I said up there and So this is a black young man. Right. I sat up there and watched the video where this mental ill white guy chased the police around the car. Yeah. <laughs> out, out in Baltimore County. Shut up. Chased around the, the car. car. And they tased him. Tackled the, the guy. Tackled the police officer. And they did not shoot him. No, sir. But they had another black guy out in uh, Hunt, Hunt Valley. Uh, four five officers emptied their guns on him. And he mm -hmm. was walking away. They shot him and killed him. That was to let you know not to bring your black ass out of Baltimore County fucking with them people. Wow. They, they sent the message for you in Baltimore County. Don't go out there messing with the white people. So that's not going to go down the city. It's Baltimore County going to let we go down the city. Well, they taught to shoot the kill. Baltimore City is taught to shoot the kill. No, they shoot the kill in Baltimore well, County. It depends Remember on how many, how many, how many, well, black folks get shoot the kill. Baltimore County last year oh, well, at the, the, at the color, grocery store. The color. Yeah. Out, out at the grocery store. The students to meet out the grocery store. Remember? Wow. Yeah. So, uh, they shot him? Uh, out on Route 40, they had a killing. Really? Uh, and, and, uh, over meat? Over food, stealing food out of the grocery store. Really? Well, the problem that we have is, is that they feel like they can do it because nobody's challenging the Constitution. That Constitution said they have the right to do what they do to us because of that Constitution. So what do you mean constitute the FOP, the rights? No, the Constitution. We the people. Oh, you mean a regular constitution? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. The constitution. The United States Constitution. I thought you was talking about like you know the police has this um, the bill, of bill of rights. The bill of rights. They can do things that we can't do. Before they got up. Yeah. Giving these statements after shoot. Exactly. Exactly. That bill of rights needs to be challenged. They absolutely be. They also need cameras in the courtroom, not just on the police officers. They need cameras in the courtroom. Like still cameras. No, video cameras. That's what I mean. Still. That's not on a 
a body that's sitting right. still. You need cameras to, to monitor the courts and the court proceedings. Mm. And you need access to the grand jury. The same way that they take us to the grand jury, you need access to the grand jury too. But they're saying that the grand jury is a process that should be in like a sequestered process. It, it should be sequestered. These it shouldn't be a process where regular people are able to access. I went to the grand jury. I turned into my employer. My okay. employer had a contract. It was GSA, Government Service Administration, and it was TNP Engineering. I was doing the contract as a black contractor for a white company. I was okay. a project manager. Okay. They were skimming and, and beating the government out of money. I blew the whistle on them. Went to the grand jury, testified. TNP Engineering couldn't do no more contracts for the federal government and lost a million dollars. And he did it because he called me a nigga. I was the most expensive nigga TNP engineering ever knew. <laughs> no more niggas for them, man. Yeah. <laughs> Call Shorty. Not nigga. Shorty Raw and Real. Say, say it what it is. Shorty Raw and Real 365. All day. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> Get it right. Sometimes when the juries are selected, they're not supposed to be like aware of certain situation. Mm, they should be have like a neutral palate. But, but it's hard. Most of the time. Because the jury is your peers. Majority of all the time. When people in Baltimore are selected, uh -huh. the jury, they're already around and have awareness of what the incident is. I'm gonna tell you because they're in the community, yes. In the community. Yeah. And there's no way where the challenges are going to be on people playing field. One, like I'm saying, that the Constitution already implements us three fifths of the human will remain and be protected. Okay. And that Scott case already proved it. Mm -hmm. And throughout, I remember a law just incredibly enforced, reinforced, reinforced, it shows every generation that as a people, we are assaulting attack. Well, then, how do we change? that type of movement though. We can talk about it, we can say grand juries, but these are rules that's been in place before we even you know, started we gotta, talking about this. We gotta use the rules that they already got in place and the Constitution is written for Americans and they claim that we're Americans and we need the shit they got on the books for us. Flip mode is a record label, make it your lifestyle. It is. You feel me? Yeah, that's, that's Busta Rhymes. If they can use uh, the Jews Amendments and that they can use the grand jury, Mm -hmm. Go to the grand jury. The 1964 Public Accommodation Act said we're supposed to have equal access to the courts and access to these, these, these things. Mm -hmm. All right. Quasi and Fumi's job as an oversight committee to give you access to the grand jury. You talking about your new congressman? What he said. <laughs> and for me. <laughs> Shorty, raw and real, y'all. 365. Right. That's our new. Um, that's our new congressman, right? No, he ain't nothing. Kwa'isi. Yeah. I know, but I'm just saying, he's back again. In 1986, Kwasi and Fume signed the Bill Clinton crime bill. Yes. That put us in the position that we're in now. Now, fast forward to 2020, we talk about the violence, the violence, the violence. But nobody want to say in the war on drugs. Kwasi! Oh. <laughs> What's his name, Shorty? Kwa'isi! <laughs> <laughs> ah, you sick. So he he signed. The, but you know they say he can go into Congress and get the gavel. He get the what? The gavel because he has seniority. No, he go to the Congress. He could go and sit in coming seat. Right, he can. Right. Remember from the mayor of Black Caucus is gonna change this about oh, what? What? All right, the, the, the last twenty years, who said in the war on drugs? Kirk Smoke did, and they took him out of office. All right. They gave him a job at the University of Baltimore Law Division to sit, sit your black ass down. Like I said, we gotta stop being bought out. So who did they do that to? Kurt Smoke. Smoke. <laughs> Is that the, isn't that a former mayor of Baltimore? Yeah. So they put him out of there and you said, and they took him to, now he's a teacher? No, he's a dean. He's a dean. Oh, he's that's the a, dean of law. Dean. Oh, it's that's Peter Angelos' law. Oh, he sure, that's his center, that's right. It's named after Peter Angelos. All right. Yeah. Let's, let's get this master house and <laughs> plantation politics and overseer shit right. What's his name? Which one? Who's the master or the overseer? <laughs> Who's the overseer? Who's the overseer? Smith! <laughs> Who's the master? Angela. <laughs> Shorty is roaring real, y'all. She he coming. Hey, if I'm saying anything wrong, I got 52 teachers on the 
in my mouth. How many? I, I lost some cousins. Maybe about, about 47. 47, I lost about five or six cousins. <laughs> Maybe about 47, bro. No, you have 52. I ain't never know. You should do your 52 to you. I think. In other words, I don't I know. Truth, it, it's, it's I got all mine but one. I tell so I got 31. <laughs> Shorty, we on raw camera. Real, raw real, we, we on no, camera. No, just <laughs> That's a validated point, though. What? Why put that bill in the Well, no, he signed it, but a lot of other people signed it. Oh, the whole Black Caucus, now, all of them. He done come back in the office. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? He going to pursue it and reinforce it even more. I wouldn't think that. Well, see, this is the problem that I have with you, Keith. Because I just don't know how he can get away with a, with trying to enforce something that they're trying to dismantle. I'm, listen, this is the, I'm asking y'all. Y'all are the community crew. I'm asking y'all. So y'all saying they're not trying to dismantle it? Flag on the plate. They're not mm. trying to dismantle this shit. Because this is what somebody told me. Shit. They said they're trying to get rid of this bill. No, they're That's not. what they told them to tell they're me. To, what they're trying to tell you is they're trying to circumvent this bill. Because there's too much money in black bodies. Black lives matter because black money involved. Mm. Take black out of America, you got Rome burning. Hannibal taught you that shit. When Hannibal went and marched on Rome. You feel me? I'm feeling you, bro. All right? Learn your history about our black worth. We take black out of America. We came here as property. We treated as property. Absolutely. We traded the penitentiary for the plantation, cotton for cocaine, and we the cash crop. Your melon. See that? I'm worth a lot. <laughs> How much you worth, Shorte? No, see, I'm dark. No, so okay. she ain't worth that much. She got a pecan tan. This is straight up black. <laughs> so I ain't worth a lot, Shorty. No, I got the stock. Gotta ask somebody. <laughs> what about Tuan over here? Tuan got his own thing. Tuan, he got a, you know. He got his stock, bro. He was the two. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> so you said the black people. The black is a berry, the sweet of the juice. And black How people, you think we are commodity. Yeah, we are commodity. We are commodity all day. So if we, if they were to rid America of black people, America is, is finished. What's the NFL going to be? going to rid us and we're no, 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because they say send you back to Africa. Hey, check this out. Where they going? They let them have this shit. This is their shit. This is a barren country. They can stay here. No, 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 no. Check this out. That's not true. Time out. It's not true. another time out. I'm going to throw another flag. You never even been to Africa. That's not true. You give me every black man that's in jail. Okay. You give me every black man that's in jail. Y'all listen to this? If you ain't here, then put it on rewind and hear it again. All right? Give me Jeff Ford. Give me Hoover, and give me anybody that want to leave America, cut my finger, Ancestry.com. If I got 25 years of life, give me five years in America, give me two years over there, give me three years of the money that you would spend and call it even. That would be a beautiful thing. You feel me? Mm -hmm. then I can't go back to jail. I'm emptying your prisons, and you can't got to be scared of me no more. Trump said if you don't like it, he'll leave. I want first. But, but you want a package. Wait a minute, I want no, a I want my money. I, I want my 40 niggas to move. I want to know we, and they want us to leave, and we're the indigenous. So where they going? They got a last They one. claim this country is no, there. They got a last something that don't belong. They got Scandinavians. This, this is not there. I know, but this them people say that's this this their spot. That's just like right. After I leave a, they do it every day. I, I leave, say I own this park, mm -hmm. and I leave it to my son. He can't sell it, and nobody can come in and sell it without his name, without his signature being on it. That's the United States. They can't sell it, they can't do anything because it does not belong to them. You can't, you can't claim something that you stole. What well, the question is, what did Christopher Columbus do? All day. <laughs> All day. All day. All day. All day. But that's how they got in. Exactly. But the thing is, it does not belong to them. How many have them? He didn't do the navigation with the black man. No, no, no. It's an African man. No, no, no. Hold on. Time out, time out. That motherfucker thought the world was flat. Yeah. He didn't know nothing about the world. No, he found out it was round because he didn't fall off. Yeah, he found out from, he found out from, yeah, he found out from them Africans. Them Africans showed them that. African accounts. Yep. 
Yep. Yep. So let's, let's get that history moment right. Friends, y'all. Friends. Hey. I ain't looking for friends. I'm looking for change. Hey. Friends ain't always for friends. Change. Hey, give me another word. <laughs> motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> That's a four letter word. You can't spell this motherfucker got it. I mean four syllables. <laughs> Sorry. You got a lot more letters than four. Motherfucker. I'm done with the syllables. <laughs> you don't scramble. All right, so in Baltimore City, we in Baltimore City. How are we gonna change this thing? Baltimore ain't got, Baltimore got a lot of chaos. We got murders. We got an educational system that's bereft of knowledge uh, of our children. They're killing. We're killing each other. What are we gonna do in Baltimore City? The question. The ones out here creating change, or is it the ones that you keep voting in? Ooh. So that's, clearly, we're not the problem. It's the voters that's the problem. So. Ooh. Uh, all right, so if the voters, so you're saying the reasoning for Baltimore's demise is voters? They the ones who put them in? Yeah, they do put them in. But. If you don't know better, you're going to do what? Worse. You're going to do the same shit, right? Yeah. If you're recycling shit like you recycle garbage, you recycle garbage. <laughs> so we, you said we need new leadership. We need real yeah, leadership. No, no, we need real trash leadership. Trash in my house so you're just bringing a, you just bring in a new garbage. Mm -hmm. McDonald's started in 1964, but they upgraded in 2020. You still got garbage from McDonald's. But they, they have a, um, a, a black Republican, Shannon... Right. Oh, Shannon Wright. Shannon Sneed was a Democrat okay. lady. So you're saying you want new people. She's a new option. What do you okay, think? I can't oh, Lord. Oh, check this out. You can say new. You can oh, say new, Lord. but if, if you got Lord. new carrying the same agenda, then you ain't got nothing new. You just got to transcend it. Mm. Is that the correct word? I love that word. Transcend it. That's the word. Look, transient. With MF and transcend it, I'm one of the scrabble. Transient. <laughs> African. <laughs> And I'm a high school dropout. <laughs> there was like the only people saying this of there that you saying was like Yolanda and the You know what I'm saying? And when it came to power of people doing stuff that they need to do to register the vote for them, then you seen them in place. Hmm. So we don't have but two options though, bruh. We have Shannon Wright, the Republican candidate. Me neither. And we have Brandon Scott, who y'all, is he recycled or is he new? They say he's young. They say he's fresh. That's your friend. Wait a minute, how you knew a fresh if he was always in city hall? That's what I'm saying. They, that's what people saying because because he's un, he's 30 years old. He got groomed by Governor O'Malley. Governor O'Malley had to pick a new crowd. So, <laughs> we got Brandon Scott, who's a young male. Everybody say that he is young, he's coming with some new stuff. So what y'all think? You say no! <laughs> Shorty, did you say what? No! <laughs> so that's not the one. Hell no. So are we going to harvest cam candidates? What are we going to do to get a candidate? First of all, we need to get rid of the primary election. We need to go. Primary election needs to go because first of all, we leave, uh, we leave bitter people in office. Until the next person comes in. That's 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 the destruction. They do all anytime you don't want to do nothing because somebody didn't vote for you. See that means you tell me if they were never about the people. It's all it's, it's not even about the money, it's about the call the power. play the play politicians. It's play about the play. power that comes with the position. It's man that you lost it, so you don't want to do nothing for nobody. Well we have a great mayor still in place. We have Jack Young. What? Uh, we have a great mayor in place right now. His name is Jack. Jack Young. I live here. You sound like Donald Trump when you say these words. You're great. <laughs> Donald Trump used great so many times, I think that shit rubbed off on you. Great. He's you a like sugar frosted plates? Great. They're great. <laughs> I mean, but to, listen, I'm being a devil's advocate. Everybody. Yeah, that's a better way. Find they say word we get. have a great mayor right now called Jack Young. Yeah, that's just great. That's just Great. So, how do y'all feel about our current man? He only has a few months, but isn't he? Bye. Isn't he doing a remote? Thank you. <laughs> You're tired. Don't come back like everybody else. Shorty. Quick. Go, but don't. We had a. It was a time fine. To leave me, Lucille. <laughs> so he can go too. Bye. Oh love. You had how many years? He's been in city council. Hey. Yeah, nobody voted for him to be the mayor, right? Now he's mad. In the beginning. 
he said he didn't want to be. That's what I said to Yo-Yo. He so said bad. out of his own mouth, I do not want to be mayor of Baltimore City. So now he's bitter. It's a better sweet. He like niggas. Well, how can you be bitter for something you don't want to do? Well, Sour Patch Kids. Once he got a taste of that power, once he got a taste of that power, because, he not want to let it go. Yeah, that Baltimore power. Now, yeah. now he don't want to do nothing for nobody on the ground because he, nobody voted for him. We all lost. Get but, the fuck over. But what about the tender? The, we lost. What about the thousand that did vote for him? Oh, a thousand? Only a thousand? I don't know how you many. You don't know who the thousand was. Brother Jack, I'm not saying how many, Jack, but I, I know what many. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been 20,000. How many he had? About 5,000? Oh, I don't that kind of man. <laughs> he didn't have 5,000, did he now? Yeah, like six. Because when it ain't about you, when Right. It's about to win for the people, for the people to make things better and to find us like talking with them. Even though like Ronald, you know what I mean? It went down. She not in it no more. But the fact is, she's still going to work. Mm. So now, so yeah. we have two candidates. What are we gonna do? Because they're the only two choices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what you do. What are we gonna do? This is what we do. We wait till whoever wins, right? Right. Whoever wins, we make them do their job. They don't do their job, pull them out. Do your job or lose your job. How that sounds? And that needs to be. But if they're recycled, haven't they been in there? Won't be there too long. Haven't they been there doing their no job? Too long, will they? Yeah. Because if you recycle, you've been there before. I guess it, then it'll be a short-lived journey. <laughs> <laughs> Said by Shorty. <laughs> First of all, you should not be able to give, they should not be able to give self raises or white raises from the union without a report card from the people. That's true. They should not, they should not. They just gave themselves raises. What are, what are we, what are you patting yourself on the back for when we have almost 170 murders on the street? This year. Not to mention we ended what last year was 359. Well, Jack got a raise. Everybody got a raise. The city council got a raise. Everybody got a raise. Board of estimates. Me first. Remember that. Me first. <laughs> Board of estimates. Everybody got a raise. Raise every time the union gets raised. Really? The union. Now. Wow. So how can you join yourself a self-sufficient man if you're union? Now? So what about the top-heavy nature of Baltimore, where the mayor has so much power? Should the power be distributed within? If you don't have a problem with the system, we have a problem with the people who run the system. No, 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 no. It's a community, y'all. Y'all hear that ambulance. It's a community. problem with the puppet master. Oh, that's the one the puppet master. The puppet master. We got the problems with Kevin Plank. We got problems with Peter Angelo. Name him. We got problems with, uh... They say, say that name. Oh, Donald Fry is just the uh, overseer of the plantation. Right? Who's Donald Fry? I'm Donald not... Fry is the chief, is the uh, uh, head of the Baltimore Greater, Greater Baltimore Committee. You heard of Alec the Corporation? GB, oh, Alec, it's the worst corporation ever. Yeah, well, Alec. Alec. A L E C. The Greater Baltimore Committee is a microcosm. Ain't that the, ain't that the microcosm. Word? Microcosm? Mm -hmm. I get words for that. I'm told you I'm scrapping. <laughs> I'm practicing these stupid. <laughs> microcosm of Alec. Yes. Wow. Yeah. You feel me? Wrap yeah. around that. Alec has been instrumental in most of the um, criminal justice reforms no, that you not see. Reform. Not when I say reform, they say it's a reform. Well, the criminal system. Justice. They call it a reform. Yeah, they implement uh, most of these. That's another big word. Big What's that one again? Implementation. <laughs> it's implement <laughs> implementation. I'm you. I'm, I love it. Say it again, bro. Implementation. <laughs> <laughs> we black. <laughs> we black up over we chair. Bodies, Out yeah. chair. I love it. <laughs> So yeah, so so real talk. I got so check on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the GBC is very instrumental in what goes on in Baltimore. If you actually look, because it's actually public information, nobody actually goes and do research. And 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 that's where we. Form. This is where we fail as black people with knowledge. Knowledge is power. Readers are leaders. Yep. Non-readers are bleeders. Ooh. So we have to say wait 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 say that again to the people. Say it again. Readers are leaders. Non-readers are bleeders. Love it. So we have to... We have Y'all hear that track in the back? We can't keep Hit them, y'all. Yeah, we can't keep waiting for them. We don't own the rights to this music. His story. We sure don't. Us. We need to do our own research on our own story. If you actually look, because it's public information, you look to see how many people and who invested into the police, I mean, into the, um, into the jail system. 
mm. uh, privatized organization that Corpor every name yep. is on that CCA. Corrections Corporations it's of America. Teachers, I told it's you teachers. so. It's teachers. It's all of that. And then you all of the pensions are invested in vision. But yeah. You wonder why our school system failed because it was designed to shut up the me. Ooh. We talking some real stuff right now, yo. He told you about the what Dred Scott. Yep. That's what so, Twan came out with. Shut, tell him that Twan with we the savages, yo. Let me show y'all the birthday party. That's the savage over here, y'all. That's the music box we got. We savages. Hey. When I'm taking, bro. Still talking. A judge from Eastern Shore that was on Supreme Council went to Massachusetts. That was in Illinois. That was Missouri. It was a Missouri compromise because he was a slave in Illinois and he was a free man of Missouri in 1857. Yep. See, Dred Scott is my shit. Missouri compromise, exactly. Compromise. You're right. Missouri was not a state. He was free there. So Justice County from the Eastern Shore was part of the Supreme. Court in 1857, and his ruling was blacks have no rights, it was white. White! <laughs> America Say it again. Why? <laughs> had to respect. Ah, so First you're saying all, that back to the, basic. the judge in Eastern Shore was on a, from Maryland, was on the Supreme Court. Yeah, he, Conley. Yeah, Conley Tanny, was from here. Tanny, Tanny. Tanny, I mean, was from here. Oh, yeah, they moved it. Yes, yes. So this guy was on the Supreme Court, and he is the one who made that ruling. He sure was. And then, and then here goes another one for you. Eight, wow! And, and, and I never saw this thing go back. Yeah, I didn't ever put those two together. A hundred mm. years ago, they had a movie called Birth of a Nation. Yeah. Mm. And it was debuted at the White House by President Taft. Yeah. Trump. <laughs> Taft. Trump. <laughs> One more time. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I got to rest. First of all, we need to take it back to basics. If you want to know about why our education looks the way that you read the book, uh, Forty-eight pounds of law. No, not that one. Oh, that's fifty. Oh, I like that, that one. one. No, that's not fifty cents. Oh, yes, yes, take yes. Back, way back there. So. No, no, no. Read um. Before that. Actually, that. No, no, no. Start, right start with uh. Before Mr. Education. What was the one about uh? Yeah, before that book. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's the one. 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 Yeah, that's the one.
Europeans, they put their people on pedestals. Back in them days. They would have a picture of Willie Lynch. It would have been uh, King James Version. It would have been Esquire Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been Esquire. No, that's another word. I'm getting them today. You're getting them today, bro. I'm getting them today. Yes. Coming hard today. Got Implementation. I'm a high school dropout. And I'm learning. <laughs> Man. Right. The education system is working over here. Yes. So let me ask y'all something when it comes to like ex felons and and um this COVID nineteen. They said they were aggressively getting letting people out. Is that happening in Maryland? That's what I really want to know. I'm an ex felon, right? Due to COVID nineteen. I'm an ex felon. Cause that's what they said. That's what that's what my Mosby sister Mosby said it. Alright, I'm trying. I ain't no ex because I'm still home, baby, so I'm still. Alright, twine, 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 twine. When you come out of the joint, ain't you gotta have a, a location to go to? If you ain't got a location to go to, where the fuck they letting them go? They can't get out. Ooh. I gotta have somebody say I, I can live there. And if they ain't got a halfway house or your mama house, and I can't live with my mama because she live in the projects. And most of the halfway houses ain't taking no new folks. I can't go to my mama house because she live in the projects. And these, 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 and these,
So, the, so when you they run that pin number, everything you did is under that job. Yeah. Wow. It's like, your, it's like a job description. It's That's your why, resume. That's why they made everything out of clothes into yellow banana jumpsuits, so you can all be identified by that pin. By the pin and the color of the dress code. Wow. What level you in? Do you know how diabolical a system is? Red, red is a red, yeah, red is a risk. So yellow's intake. Orange is you red, around for a while. Red is max. <laughs> Orange, you there. <laughs> Orange, you've been in for a minute. You, you wait. Oh, you committed. So. is max. What does that mean by Max? Max means murder. you committed a murder. Yeah. Oh, okay. High risk. High risk. Okay. So the re whatever you're wearing is is your you mold. Like Skittles, man. Really? You like Skittles. <laughs> you like Skittles. This is terrible, man. Oh, now or later? So you go and you know you don't even know people's names. You know their level of what they did by what they're wearing. Yeah. And don't never ask them what they did. Well, don't do that. Don't do that. You ain't got to. The color tell. Don't. I'm gonna say no ask. But don't even ask. Don't ask. Don't tell them for gays in the military. Ask for niggas in jail. <laughs> ask them motherfuckers something you might go in your mouth. Oh, do you know that that's very diabolical? You know how well thought that out that is? When you think of tears, you think of color coding, that takes time. This is a diabolical when system. system. When you think of the whole system, period, they just, they just took the word slavery and had plantation out and put penitentiary jails and uh, correctional facilities. They use big Right, it's so way on God's green earth that that jail system should be able to pay somebody 25 cents a day, $100 a year, and not have a labor law. And if I got child support, I don't get nothing. Wait a minute, did you, did you say 25 cents a day? Uh, yeah, yeah. Cent certain, a day. Jail, certain jails get 25 A whole day? A whole day, 24 hours. $100 a year. Yeah, they just tell them come and you get 90 cents a day. This, this is why I was like really upset at a good friend of mine, right? He was on a panel, and he talked about how he worked at MCE. And he said, What's uh, MCE? Rural Correctional Enterprise. Okay. Where all the, uh, uh, all the stuff is made. All the tables and all that stuff. $500 million a year. Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me the jail is putting out a half a billion dollars in stuff a year? Product. Product. They make this. Everything. They make this. People can't come home and get a job. They make this. They make They got the qualifications, but you can't come home and get a job. Because they're doing it in jail. Wait a minute. Why wouldn't they consider that as a part of a resume? Yes. You get to come home and Yes. Why can't that be a trade? Yeah. No, 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 no. Because when you get out, I can't be a barber. I got to have a license. I can't get a license because I've been in jail. I can't get a, I can't be a realtor. I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't because it's set up for failure. I could work in jail and like I say, you made $500 million. They don't even get 5% of that goes to the inmate. 5% of $500 million does not go back to the inmate. And not to mention, they got to buy their own commissary. How crooked is that? And guess who got that? I mean, and this is the killing part, right? Wow. If I got a prison institution or I got an institution, period, and I got 2.6 million people locked up every year, locked up in behind bars, uh -huh. and I got a commissary, I orders and noodles is a dollar a pack. Oodles and noodles is a dollar a pack, but how much is oodles and noodles at the dollar store? Listen, do me a favor. Can you block this like on a little? A dollar eighty nine. Right here. So that's six dollars, right? So I can get a better shot of them. You know what I'm saying? Just for a minute. So, the, see, we see. Yeah, 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 good, good, Joe. Come a little more. Can you be three? Yeah, come up. Come to me. 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 There you go. So, Stay there for a second. So, Let me get a real. I can't see them because of the sun. Tell them the hundred pillows. Tell them about the pillows. This ain't so the white dude. Kennedy Krieger. Uh huh. Inmates who sold a hundred pillows out the sewing shop, right? So you're telling me they gave the jail. Uh huh. Get you over here to the pound cake. Yeah, we switching. Thank they you, Jordan. Gave the jail a check. Okay. One, one point something two million for the pillow. Wait, 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 wait. So. In the penitentiary, the Department of Corrections, which is John Hopkins, Kennedy Krieger, yes, got a hundred dudes who sold pillows for kids that were suffering with cancer. Okay. They paid WCI 1.2 million. Can you tell me what WCI is? Western Correctional Institute. Okay. The thing they gave the inmates was a pleasure to take a picture with the check. And so the inmates got zero dollars. Nothing. Nada. Poquito dinero. 
<laughs> you got a memory in a the memory. This is fucked up. Let's say I had something to do and this showed the realization of how me and Sweet went up. Here you go. So they got that cake and they didn't get a drop of it. You see how she doing it? You see how she doing it? They ain't get none of that. They ain't get no pound cake. Give her a pound cake. <laughs> they ain't get no pound cake. They ain't get no pound cake. No, sir. They ain't get no, no, no sir. lunch. Nothing. 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 They got the pleasure of taking a picture with Master. Another thing, right? Wow. Yeah, you have. So, wait, let me ask a question first. So, the money like that, where does it go? Everybody Is it helping the community? Scott. Ask Brandon Scott. <laughs> Ask who? Ooh. Ask Governor Hogan. Oh. They say it's no privatized prison in Maryland. No, it ain't private because it's all it's racketeering and fraud. Cumberland runs inmate families uh, like Domino's and all that shit. Yeah. Where you can order from, get championships, playoffs, and Super Bowl. They make sure that everybody going to stay is able to order up to two boxes of chicken. Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. Yeah, but I got to ask you a question. So they're letting prisoners order food in doing sport. So they're fueling outside private business from prisoners who make 25 cents a day. Yeah. 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 This is a lot. With the officer's family get one those stores. Yeah. Huh? Alright, check this out. So they nepotism. It ain't nepotism. Oh. It's, it's, privatizing. it's privatizing. It's privatizing. In, in Illinois, I, Illinois was making. I went to Illinois. I'm. I went to jail in the '80s. So okay. I was putting up prisons in Illinois, like '90 going north. Right? Okay. Um, they moved to prisons in Illinois. They locked you up in Chicago. You went as far away from Chicago as you could. Mm -hmm. So that little spot created a small talk. town. Straight street talk. Straight up. You got a hotel you got to go to. McDonald's, Burger King. A Holiday Inn is right outside the prison. So who making money on the visit? Because you can't go down there and make no Sunday morning drive. And so drive they set up there. a private enterprise for the families. You got to go. To, it's a vacation. It's a state. Yeah. If I, I only go see you for three hours, but I got to spend four hundred dollars to come see you for three hours. So how many people gonna come see you? Really? So now they put you on a place where you don't get no visitors. Nobody comes to see you. Some people don't. I don't want you to come see me. Because when you leave, you're going to make me mad. You make me mad. <laughs> you make me mad, I'm going to be... I got to take it out on somebody. So, so... You got to either sit down. We can't put you on camera standing. Longer. It's my sister. Never been arrested. Now, but in order. Oh, like, wait a minute. No, I'm just. Your, 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 your sister. In order to come see me, she got to go through everything that I went through. She's going to have to get strips. She's going to have to get frits. She's going to have to get her, her whole background ring. To come see you. To come see me. Because she got a case. She got a case. Not strip anything. search. She can't come. Yeah, butt naked with a smile. Yeah. Cough, squat, and cough, squat. No, say me and him was the item and we went to jail. I can't write him and he can't write me. Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. You're not, you're telling, folks don't know this. So you're telling me if I came to visit somebody in Cumberland, I got to take off all my clothes. Yeah, man. <laughs> and squat, <laughs> you fool. And squat, because you made me stop. <laughs> you fool. Look at me. Don't look at his eyes. <laughs> you fool. Don't have no cute hey, head. You see, how, no you see how I put my head down? Yeah. Don't look at his eyes. Underwire your bra. You got to take the underwire your bra. None of that. Going in. Matter of fact, you got to take the underwire out your bra and put the bra back on look like cuz you can't go in there without like, no bra right cuz now you just look like you just got slave tits and really yeah cuz i go in there and I'm so they treat the prisoners like prisoners and the people who visit them yeah they you got no fear you for coming up here yeah. wow for coming. i don't want to go see you if yeah, i got to go to all that you up where you got to holler so i can and i wait because you the fam my girl I can't kiss you, so now this draws your attention. Now we distance, now we really distance, so now it's about That's where social distancing came in at. Start young, <laughs> so yeah, they've been doing the social system. distancing. Yeah, they've been doing social distancing. Social distancing been going on. Look effect. at Latrobe Projects, they right across the street from Central Booking. So if I live in a Latrobe Projects, why am I scared of Central Booking? And I see it every day. It's desensitizing our country. Oh, Desensitiz damn, bro. You you doing Scrabble today. You got another one killing on the it. Game. Killing the game. <laughs> They're killing the man. game killing today. The game today. Yeah, I'm Jordan. He is killing <laughs> desensitized. <You> desensitizing <laughs> me. Right? I love it. So if I see my daddy go to jail, I see my uncle go to jail. I'm going to jail. I'm graduating that class, too. 
It's only going across the street. I ain't, I, I I ain't gotta go home. far. I, I ain't far from home. I can holler at my dogs walking through. The, you know what I mean? Yeah. Holler. You know, that's a way to look at it. People don't even look like that. No, because white people ain't in there. They're not desensitized. You got, you got the troll, you got, you got BCCC, you got DOCs, you got the, uh, MTC, which is an old penitentiary. You got Central Brooklyn all in the five block ladies. So you got... In Baltimore you got, City. You got elementary, you got middle school, you got a high school, and, and you got college. Right, right there. Right there. I'm right a, there. Wait a minute. Right <laughs> you a fool. So you said... <laughs> <laughs> and that five block mom. I got an elementary school. I got a middle school. I got a high school. And I got a college. All uh, in Baltimore City. 101. Wow. Y'all hear that? That's penitentiary. From, That's from, real talk right there. From Falls Way to Hartford Road. It's all. Greenmount it's five uh, facilities. Yeah. To, and how many courts? Yeah. Two courts, right? Yeah, two courts. You got Courthouse East and, and down District Court and the Federal Court, right? Three blocks around the yeah. So this just, so. And Juvenile, right there. Right, right across the street. All right, right so street. let me ask you a question, CC. So that means that. That means we fucked up. Yeah. That ain't no good this word, but we fucked up. We, that's, that's a real word right there, all right? How many, pol I mean, how many, uh, how many of these jail systems sit in a white community? Uh, but it's in an alchemy. That was I mean, my next that was my next question. I mean, Baltimore is a big city. How is it all in one vicinity and mostly populated by black people? Why That's a why is it on Northern Parkway? Right. Why is it on Rolling Park? Why is it oh. it's property value costs too much. Right. They ain't having that up there. <laughs> the long short of square footage, we can't afford to put you black. Nobody's in. coming outside. If we're not paying you for building my furniture, you think we're gonna pay your housing? This is unbelievable. Look at, look at where the most crime is at is in inner city, right? Yeah. Where you had five institutional jails in the inner city. You had three major court, population courthouses in the city. Mm-hmm. So it's all the snatch and grab. It was designed for failure. It's designed for failure. I hear, here you go. And all of the neighborhoods around them are dilapidated. Here you go. Here a near neighborhood is, is is really doing what it's supposed to be doing. Am I right, Yolanda? It, absolutely. Here go one for you. Come on. There was, a, there was a, a scientific experiment with rats back in the 60s before they when they was building the projects. Might have been early. Okay. I don't know exactly what it was. But they had 24 female rats and 24 male rats. And they had a maze about as big as this platform right here. And See the platform family? It's the platform. They had food over here, they had water, they had resources in the in the rats, right? But when the rats started multiplying, they started taking the resources away. What did the rats do to each other? Eat each other. What are you doing now? Eating each other. Do we have any resources in the community? We're no. eating each other. Resources is another word. Oh! God damn, Shorty. Shorty, that's like 15 words. I got paid today. <laughs> Education is working all day. All right. Now, if you look at Latrobe projects, if you look at uh, Gilmore Homes, if you look at all the projects, mm -hmm. I'm from Chicago. When they talk Brindy Greens down, I'm really from Zion, uh, but we got projects everywhere. Mm -hmm. Project a project. Yep. And it is exactly what it is. A it's a project, project all day. <laughs> and it's a study. It's a study. People. It is. Project and slavery is what? Well, you know how it started? Do you know the history? What is it? What is it? No. Well, actually, no. Actually, Hitler. Put up at the Great Depression. No, Hitler. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let, me po let me post it. He right. Hitler right. was the first. Did they I emulated this behavior from Hitler for Jews. Yeah. Yeah. They always devil. talk about Hitler, but they never talk about the things that... Hitler was a, a genius, but an idiot. All in the same package. He was ignorant and intelligent. But he, that's who he was. So Hitler were the first one to, in, in, to do this institutionalized living. Hitler did that first and he broke the Jews down. So they saw that was a way to break who down? Us. It's really unbelievable. Projects, welfare. Yep, us. Projects, welfare, government assistance, none of that was designed for the black people. Welfare was instituted. We didn't, we didn't be able, we weren't able to access welfare family until 40 years after it existed. Right. So welfare was not set up for black people. Black Panthers and the black people in the community and we were doing it without them. That's right, we were doing our all quick and they made profit off of it. You know what I'm saying? The, the Panthers started WIC. They started a breakfast program. Right. That's what the, the Panthers did. Lottery, All day. Yep. the penny game for the lottery. Yep. You're right. The numbers. Quick. We was good at this shit. <laughs> so you're saying everything that we started. Documentary the other day. What was her name? What? 13? No. The documentary of how um, lottery came in. It was actually invented by a black man. Of course. 
was. Um, I know that. Who was her name? No, it was a man. No, it, he was the one that did it, but I'm talking about the white, the black woman that killed the doctor. Her husband was the one that they called him. I just watched it the other day. Hey, what's wrong? Listen, you gotta get your senior moments together, look y'all. <laughs> yeah, these damn senior moments. Cause Shorty giving us words and you having moments. You gotta do better. <laughs> uh huh. They are in love. Yes. The same way we call it home I mean, Murphy Holmes was. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lex Luthor's was. Yep. Uh, they, they, they all built the same way the prisoners were built. Yep. I was they like, so they built like institutions. Yeah, they, they look they, like they built the same way. Minus wow. the guns and the bars. Yeah. So they get you used to that type of lifestyle, so you transition right in. Wow. Stockholm Syndrome. Oh, look at you coming again, bro. So one thing, one <laughs> thing. We talk thing. about Stockholm Syndrome the other day. We always run back to our abuses. So one thing. So we love them. Projects. Everybody coming to court, y'all. Right. Okay. Y'all just here. Everybody, when they came off the tears, they came in the flats. Same thing. Same thing. Wow. So even. But then I even say the guys bring the clothes out to jail. They wear the car hearts. They're giving the same. The same stuff that goes in jail comes out here and becomes regular clothes, comes regular it becomes, lifestyle. It, be, it becomes a trend. Yes. How is that? They probably came out and they came out with white. We're skin. talking about um even even um even butters. <laughs> butters started in jail. Now I'm gonna get to how they get dudes in the rat industry. Yo, you gotta get back in the picture. Hurry up with that cigarette. Yo, I thought you were smoking on camera. Who was smoking? Hey, who was wearing the car hearts? <laughs> Easy. <enough. laughs> Then they probably came back with it. White teeth and that on it. But it was made for jail. Carhartt was a jail food. Clothes. That's what they come to on the street. Yep. Clothes. Yep. That's what it was. It is. Still is. Cheap. Cheap. Cheap clothes. I'm fortunate. So this company is making money five, six times over. The kids dancing over there, y'all. Look at them. They got the community is out. The community is out. They're cheerleading over there. Yeah, they're doing a lot of stuff in this park. We're in Carroll Park, family. They dog walking over there. They dog walking. Let me show y'all what shorty. They dog walking. This is the whole park. It's beautiful out here. And we talking some real shit. Some real stuff. So Baltimore City has a lot of institutionalized racism. That's what I'm hearing. Institutional institutional. That's why I said all projects need to go. But they ain't got no house. So that's what I'm saying. If you if you get rid of projects, what would be the affordable housing? Good luck with that. Good luck with that rent cap. Angelos and Pataraki. Cause you know how much properties they own. Good good luck with that. June oh oh June 25th July 25th. We're gonna take it here. How many of them gonna get evicted? They couldn't afford to pay that BG and water bill. Ooh. And I thought, wait a minute, first of all, BG and they gonna kill them. Enlighten me on this. Didn't they stop taking property on a water bill? They have. They sending out letters now. They still scaring people. Yeah, they still scaring it because I got one. They still scaring people. I'm homeless. Hard to do me. I'm homeless. I'm living on people. I'm homeless. What happened to our legislation? See that word homeless? I don't know. I think BG and E still has the propensity to scare people. They do because they the only ones that never. Because ain't no ain't nobody competition. Ain't no other electric around here. Because they both pay the politicians. So let me ask you a question. Uh, when it comes to July 25th, how are we gonna help these people? Oh, they put they put a, uh, uh, they put 13 million in a budget. To help people help. But where is it? I was going to white people first. Let's be perfectly fucking clear. Watch just the same way that they did it before. Uh huh. The corporations got that bailout money. Mm -hmm. The first stimulus package. Went to the white folks. That's where it's going. Black don't get last. Went to none of the little black. It ain't going. Uh, 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 anybody want to back me? <laughs> Come with it, eh? I got money on the table. This but is. I'm applying for it. <laughs> 13, 13 million dollars. I don't even know if that's gonna even. It's not, it's not gonna help these people with their rent. That's not enough money. Because if we back in, if we uh, if the Ravens uh, asked for it, they took it all already at m t Bank and Ravens Stadium. Damn. What is thirteen million to Damn. a city of five hundred? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Damn, what she said is all economic issues or low poverty. 
It's not meant for us. The same system that's designed to help you is the same system that's designed to make you pick up. All day? We're supposed to be running the hurdles, but the hurdles so high we bump our heads. Because I hear people all the time say black people like crabs in the bucket, but they don't understand the system is created for you to be a crab. Like ribs. It's created for you to fight each other. That's why they want you to so you can keep dissension out of our community. So we don't get that. Yes, we are crabs, but it's because we cre they create they create a system where you can't get access unless you pull on somebody else. Yeah, but right, it's unfortunate. There goes another one. It's another analogy. Uh, analogy. You use words, bro. Analogy. So, Three syllables. Uh, Plato's theory of the republic. Anthology of the cave. Anthology? You're killing us, bro. Anthology of the cave. What it was is, when all of us was in a cave, and all we seen was shadows. Okay. Right? And one day, one of us got out. Okay. And we got to see the trees and the birds and got to smell the fresh air and the fish. What's your moral and responsibility? Mm. That's what you going to do. What you going to do? I don't know. You ain't coming back in the cave, is you? Oh, no. Nah. See what I mean? There's more responsibility is going to help. Hers is she ain't coming back. I'm fucked if she don't come back. I, my bet is with him. You feel me? So Yeah, so you're going to leave? You're going to not deal with her? No. If she got out, I'm fucked. If he get out, I got a chance. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because you know she ain't coming back. She already said she ain't coming back. But yo, you're not coming back? Oh, shit. <laughs> I want to see sunlight. What I want to look at shadows. <laughs> Because you're supposed to go, like, we're talking about the crabs, right? Yeah. So now we're taking it to another level on Plato's theory of public. Yep. So we ask it on another level. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Mental here. Yep. Right, and so we drop out, remember that? I don't know. Shorty, raw and real. <laughs> nah, yeah, I don't know about that dropout. <laughs> because you're smarter than people in high school. Straight street talk. Straight street talk. All day. So I don't... Okay, we got enough. We got enough of this. Okay, let's go. Nothing in Howell has ever changed. So you mean the houses in Baltimore, the housing in Baltimore, the authority, the authority has not changed anything in 20 years. You saying about 20 years? No, it's never changed. Remember Claudine? Yes. Yeah. Remember James Hill Jones? Yes. Uh, what? Lawrence Fishburne's first movie? That's 30 years ago. No, that was longer than 30 years. Four, it's 40 years, years ago? Lawrence Fishburne was old. Wow, that's right. He's I 70 now. First movie. Really? No, that wasn't. Lawrence Fishburne was there. He was in uh, uh, Cornbread Earl and Me. I don't know. The, the movies is before my time. The thing is, is that none of these things was ever, none of these Jim Crow and laws were never changed. It's still now, the same. Let me tell you how they put people, because I fight for this. Okay. How they put people in a trick basket when it comes to this housing thing. Okay. People think that they're safe for a second day subsidized housing. Now, I'm not required to pay rent, but I'm required to pay DGD. Yeah. And if I got a water bill, I'm required to pay that. Uh huh. So if mine gets turned off, I got 24 hours to get it turned back on. So if I didn't have the money. Even if you're in public housing? Yeah. If I didn't have the money. Okay. To pay it, uh huh. Then, what makes you think that I can come up with this money in 24 hours? Now, once I come up with this money and get it turned and get it and get it out, uh, turn back. You gonna come see me for that money? They're gonna ask me. They're gonna ask me. Well, where did you get the money from? Why? Because they they give you 24 hours to get it. Yeah, what does it matter? You created an income. Oh. You just created an income, so now they want to know where did you get the money, and they want everybody to sign a paper the statement they gave you money. Or toilet paper, or really? How did, you make, how did you come up with this money? It's set up. It's a complete set up. See why I want to legalize prostitution? Let's write this. Oh show. Lord. Oh God. God, we let's stay here. Oh, real. Let's stay. <laughs> let let's stay. <laughs> let's stay on the water bill. <laughs> hey, look, she paid the rent. They do it in Vegas. Oh. Huh? This is crazy, this man. Is other side, electricity companies joined in to hand out gift cards and probably making them think they're getting some. Scientists will help you with your PTE. They don't want the Indians to take another bill or a PTE that you can't pay. So then. Because when you, when you get this, because it has interest on it. Right. When they're doing impounds, you're interested. Once they turn it off, once they turn it off, you got to pay the whole bill. Not with what's turned off. You have to pay. Mess the kids credit up. And if you got a voucher, 
It's and over. You can't pay that. Mm-hmm. Well, your voucher is only by your income. You finish. Yeah. So it's a whole setup that puts you back. We can say we gave you we'll something. We're going to take it back. So now your whole household, you and your five kids, is yep. now homeless. You got to come see me next. Because you couldn't pay BG&E. Yeah. yeah. If you couldn't pay BG&E and you couldn't pay the water bill, and you still got your house, ain't you homeless? But what about the one who say, well, you don't have no rent to pay. You should be able to pay that water bill. If I didn't have an income, how did I pay? Oh. You know what they say, get a job. I'm, t- I'm being a devil's advocate. Yeah, but there's no job. What job? I can't get a job. And I got five kids. Remember now. You said you got five well, kids. once I get a job, now you just cut my food stamps over. Oh, that's right. You pay the child. You right. pay them for the kids. Uh, and then the kids daycare. Right. You not giving me no astronaut job. I ain't making six figures. Because it's $11 an hour in Baltimore. Yeah, because you put these people on minimum wages instead of living wages. So now we still still have a crisis on So this is a vicious cycle. Yeah, it's not set up for failure. Designed to see Monopoly. Go to jail, but the record you can. <laughs> don't pass go. <laughs> don't go past so now, I gotta go out there, now I gotta go out there and break the law. Electric ball. company? Yeah. Now I gotta go out there and break the law. I was trying to live on Broadway. I, I know I Park Place. I'm alone there. I know so many advocates out here that, that's homeless. Huh? They don't want to make it big up. They want to make it big up. You know, advocates homeless. Yeah. I fight I'm for homeless. Advocates. I fight for homeless advocates. Homeless. Jesus was homeless. Wow, that's a lot. But you'll call on That's a blessing. You'll call, us, you'll call, call us in a heartbeat. You'll call on me to come help you on the front line, but don't help me pay my bills because you done already paid all these institutions and they yours. United Way. Fusion. Help for the homeless. Fusion. Don't confuse it. Ooh. What is it? Uh, 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 safety. You pay all these people. So who's doing the work in Baltimore? That's what I want to know, guys. So the street, a lot of organizations. So the street, doing a lot of different work in so, Baltimore. I ain't gonna say say. I'm gonna say this, right? Who's doing good work in Who's doing good work in Baltimore? right? Yes. But they are collegiate circles get the attention because the power's at the table. We want. They click out every day. Uh huh. Trying, trying to get on. Had to be there to do the work, in the work, living the work, be the work. Why? Why they come out, come in and out with the money? If you went to Folly City Western, right? If you went to Morgan, Compton, and you got a seat at the table. Watch your mouth. If we went to. Watch your damn mouth. If, if we went to Illinois, if we went to I went to Morgan. Morgan. Watch your mouth. Oh, oh, oh. We, we ain't getting no seat at the table. Another, another black ain't black. I, I am an MSU grad. Watch it. I don't care. I'm going to tell you. We're the box. The curriculum comes with the state. All right, well, in the block, from any school. Check this out. Not even for any school. And they are part of that. No. Shorty, raw, and real. And y'all get a mirror, look in the mirror, and if you ain't fucked up, then you ain't got to worry about it. <laughs> but if you, Marilyn Mosby. <laughs> if you, uh, who else, Shorty? Say Mosby. <laughs> if you a sci fi Morgan State alumni, City Poly. Yeah, and you getting that money, mm. and it ain't going back in the community, and we find it in your pockets. <laughs> I'm proving my fucking point. It, it's the truth, though. Um, <laughs> wow. All of us being able to the and like I say, so do they come out? Like vacate, lay back. But do they come out to the community? They don't come out to put in no work. Come out, we had the work already done. All you gotta do is come out, get the baby, take a picture. We should, I, I feed the homeless like that's my shit. That's right? a problem. I've been homeless for years. And I don't never put my name on a lot of the homeless feet. But every politician that came out to the homeless feet and took pictures and shit like that, they didn't come out there and put in no work. They didn't donate no food. So they just come to They just came to photo op. So you what never, so you never had a politician actually see, give you seed money or help you they or? They did give you seed money. They gave it to you one time. You run for office. People hungry for 365 days a year. 
You gave me seed money once a year? Man, toilet paper run out for me once a year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I pooed. Tampon. Need tampon for me once a year, though. Know? It was a month, bro. You feel me? Yeah, real so talk. Feed me one. I feed you. I feed I was feeding them, what, four times a month? I was feeding them so much, I got sick. I was in the hospital. I had to stop. It's too much. I can only give so much. Well, we need solutions today, guys. We about to air, air it out. Any solutions? What can we do? Oh, say it again, yo. Okay, that's the politics. Now give me the street. That's politics. Streets need the seat. All day. All day. Like oh, the street needs the seat. The street needs the seat. Yeah. We all we got, we all we need. And why we at it? Defund Congress. Defund Congress. They call me right here. <laughs> I boo. Right I'm gonna shit on Congress. you. You gonna do the right thing, I'm gonna shit on you. I'm gonna shit on you. Oh my god. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, don't get no sweeter. <laughs> Mike Jack! Mike Jack! Listen! Yep. That's it. Yep. Yep. This is the CC, y'all. This is the community crew. We got Yolanda Pulley. We got Brother Man Shorty. Raw and real, 365. I got to say it. 365, I got to say it all. And he pooed, y'all. You shit 365, you know? <laughs> and I got uh, Antoine L. Quazel from Hope. <laughs> you crazy, bro. <laughs> so, yo, we really trying to um, put together a community cookout for, for the people, right? So that's next. Yeah, we plan on like something right before school start, right? In August. Ah, it's gonna it's gonna start. It just might not go to school. Yeah, they're not going, but they're gonna go to school. So we're gonna try to do something in August for the community. Like what's going on behind us. <laughs> yeah. I know how we do it when we do it. It's gonna be epic. We're gonna be doing it. Food party. And bring up raising stories, so come on and hang. Come on out. And bring a, bring a good attitude. Don't come up here with that, that dumb dumb. I don't like dumb dumb. I don't do stupid. I'm stupid. That's my job. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yo, I love, listen. Real hard. She is. I love the community crew. Stuff that you said there on a t-shirt, I promise you. Half of it. I only want 10%. Half of it. you get a niggas in jail. Oh. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 10, 15, 20. My product, I ain't changed my house. You see that? That's my shit. <laughs> Las Vegas. You got that shit in Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. They shit in Vegas too. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. You got me up for trying to sell a product and take care of my family, so I became the product. That's you gotta, it. You change your product and then change your hustle. I'm my best hoe. Hope Baltimore banging all over the city. Just like 745. Helping oppressed people excel, yo. You better check them out. Hope. They're doing great things out here. Real talking. Shorty is feeding the whole Baltimore. All you gotta do is pull up. Shorty got some food on the grill for you. He gonna feed you. Food. And I give you a conversation and a laugh. All day. And Yolanda's gonna give us all the political insight. That's out here. She commu she yeah, she's a warrior. She's community. She's politics. She's all of that. And she's gonna bring a little grind once in a while. What you what are you, sis? I'm a people. You ain't no politician? No, sir. What are you? Yeah, spell it. P-E-O-P-L-E-S-T-I-C-I-A-N. Oh! Oh! That's great street job! 